Hey guys, Keel Lancer here. Once another Keel Lancer Gaming. Don't forget the bell button, subscribe button, and get notifications to my channel. Alright guys, we got some cool news here with Ghost of Tsushima Legends should start a trend. Uh, was the article that we're going to be reading. And I have to say guys, I was definitely surprised when I, when I seen that this game was having uh, a multiplayer. I just didn't see it coming. I just thought this was just going to be a one player experience. And I'm just, I'm just very, very excited for this game. Uh, if you guys, if you guys want, you guys can basically check out my experience uh, video with the game, guys. I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can take a look at it. And let's dive into the article. This article was done by Anthony. Okay. All right. Ghost of Tsushima Legends breaking the mold by adding free multiplayer to an incredible single player game, and others should follow suit. I definitely agree to that. Ghost of Tsushima checks uh, checks just about every box the players uh, the players could want in a single player game to uh, to check, and now it's covering an even uh, an even more ground that player that uh, that player didn't know they wanted uh, with the with his Legends expansions. Uh, this free multiplayer update is coming in fall of 2020 and, and promises to give a fans cooperative experience for up to four players. For the most part, this type of thing is almost unheard of, especially in today's video game atmosphere where co-op experiences are few and far between, but with any luck, it will become a trend among single-player games moving forward. Without a doubt, Ghost of Tsushima feels, uh, feels and plays like a single-player game. It's very clear from the start that this open-world uh, romp uh, is designed specifically for the type of gameplay. So when Sucker Punch announced Ghost of Tsushima Legends, fans were uh, presently surprised. Though more and more games had started providing free content update, uh, adding uh, in multiplayer to a game that doesn't already already have it doesn't uh, doesn't happen that frequently. There isn't a, a very specific release date for the expansion as of yet, but fan excitement it remains high, and nonetheless, it also. Uh, caused many to question what other games would uh, benefit from the uh, inclusion of multiplayer update. Okay, Ghost of Tsushima Legend multiplayer approach. Ghost of Tsushima Legend is approaching multiplayer uh, from an interesting perspective, having it uh, be completely uh, separate from the story, main story, which is cool. This works well as there wouldn't really be a great way to justify multiplayer within the game's universe since Jin's adventure is mostly a, sol a solitary one. Uh, it also gives the developers the ability to use enemies and features that they would have uh, wouldn't have had in the main game. Ghost of Tsushima avoids supernatural elements for the most part. The Ghost of Tsushima Legends uh, will be full uh, of monstrous, monstrous uh, elements and mystical powers. Which is cool. It, it reminds me of the legends that you that you see in the game, talking about these these uh, crazy things that goes in the game when it comes down to the fire on the katana, when it comes down to heroes picking up armor uh, within the game, and the game and and basically the armor basically makes these guys feel like almost like uh, shinigamis, demons in a sense, slaughtering hundreds and hundreds of people in some of the legends within the game. All right, there will also be different three different game modes within Ghost of Tsushima Legends. The survival mode will be pit, will be a pit up up to four players against waves of increasingly difficult enemies, and a small co-op campaign will see uh, pairs of friends do uh, battle with hordes of mythological Japanese creatures. Uh, was a while after release, players will be able to take uh, will be able to tackle a four-player raid. Oh wow! Which will no doubt add new levels and challenges to to this this uh, free multiplayer offering. All of the uh, soccer punch uh, 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 was it? All of this let soccer punch keep the core mechanics of Ghost of Tsushima without uh, uh, was it uh, treading on was it um, the delicate story single player uh, games that should uh, add multiplayer. There are countless of single player games that, that could benefit from additional cooperative mode and similar way of Ghost of Tsushima, but, uh, but a few of the more popular one, uh, one stands out. For example, Final Fantasy VII Remake seems like it, it was uh, made for multiplayer. Uh, I can live without it. It's fine. As, of, uh, as uh, each of the players' uh, party members already have fully designed and playable uh, movesets, it wouldn't acquire... Um, much in the way of game design to allow players to take VR battles 
uh, with friends or something to the effect uh, there are was it there are a lot of other ways that multiplayer could be incorporated into the game the game as well uh, I guess VR would be interesting uh, I think that Final Fantasy 15 story mode uh, should have been multiplayer but that's that's gonna be that would be hectic uh, for years players have been asking multiplayer for uh, Elder Scroll games a request that has never answered outside of Elder Scrolls online Modders have attempted to achieve something like that with varying levels of success. But most don't make it far enough for it to be readily available and Bethesda were to add multiplayer either to Skyrim or to the upcoming Elder Scrolls 6, fans would be thrilled and would be the first for the series. Unfortunately, this is all pretty unlikely, though perhaps uh, if Ghost of Tsushima Legends does well for Sucker Punch, other developers will follow suit. Now, in my opinion, I think that some games, you don't need multiplayer. Final Fantasy VII, you really wouldn't need it. But I guess maybe the VR aspect, it, sure, why not? It'll be fun. But a lot of people like making their own strategies when it comes down to Final Fantasy games like Final Fantasy VII. Crystal Chronicles is a little bit different. When it comes down to the information, um, uh, when it comes down to the information, uh, when it comes down to the multiplayer aspect of Seven. I don't know if certain certain mechanics would translate over to a degree when it comes down to some of the mechanics within the game. That's in just in my personal opinion when it comes down to it, guys. Like, I don't I don't mind Final Fantasy VII staying a single player experience. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think of this article. Let me know what you think of the video that I did prior, uh, my Ghost of Tsushima video talking about the uh, photo mode guys as you guys know well some people probably don't know i am a photographer and i haven't really used my editing skills as of late i did do two sh no three shoots two was for my t-shirt business and one was from uh, a person that i knew that had that wanted that wanted to do a particular uh risk age type of shoot and i went out and did it because it's been so long since code c hit but ghost of shima has definitely got me got me hyped for the photo mode so i wanted to try it out throughout my gameplay and it's pretty solid and i'm going to try my editing skills in lightroom and photoshop and play around with some of the filters that i'm going to create on my own so you guys get to take a look but anyway guys don't forget to hit the bell button subscribe button to get the notifications to my channel also don't forget to check out get random with us uh podcast guys i'll put a link in the description below so you guys can check out the podcast with me and my friends but it's kill answer we got more coming up